10 things Yahweh means. God also said to Moses, Say this to the people of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and thus I am to be remembered throughout all generations. Exodus 3, 15. God's name is almost always translated LORD, all caps, in the English Bible. But the Hebrew would be pronounced something like Yahweh, and is built on the word for I am. So every time we hear the word Yahweh, or every time you see Lord in the English Bible, you should think, this is a proper name, like Peter or John, built out of the word for I am, and reminding us each time that God absolutely is. There are at least 10 things that the name Yahweh, I am, says about God. One, he never had a beginning. Every child asks, who made God? And every wise parent says, nobody made God. God simply is and always was. No beginning. Two, God will never end. If he did not come into being, he cannot go out of being, because he is being. 3. God is absolute reality. There is no reality before him. There is no reality outside of him unless he wills it and makes it. He is all that was eternally. No space, no universe, no emptiness, only God. Four, God is utterly independent. He depends on nothing to bring him into being or support him or counsel him or make him what he is. Five, everything that is not God depends totally on God. The entire universe is utterly secondary. It came into being by God and stays in being moment by moment on God's decision to keep it in being. Six, all the universe is by comparison to God as nothing. Contingent, dependent reality is to absolute independent reality as a shadow to a substance as an echo to a thunderclap. All that we are amazed by in the world and in the galaxies is compared to God as nothing. 7. God is constant. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He cannot be improved. He is not becoming anything. He is who He is. 8. God is the absolute standard of truth and goodness and beauty. There is no law book to which he looks to know what is right, no almanac to establish facts, no guild to determine what is excellent or beautiful. He himself is the standard of what is right, what is true, what is beautiful. 9. God does whatever he pleases and it is always right and always beautiful and always in accord with truth. All reality that is outside of him, he created and designed and governs, so he is utterly free from any constraints that don't originate from the counsel of his own will. 10. God is the most important and most valuable reality and person in the universe. He is more worthy of interest and attention and admiration and enjoyment than all other realities, including the entire universe.